This is a tale of one people, the Scottish people, told by the storyteller. It's told as seen through the eyes of one Katrina Magihi, daughter of Aundra and Morag of Kilkenzie and Argyll, both children of immigrants from Ulster. Shab Bimrach Grenya Nahalaba, Erahainle Alabanich, Luchkimrich, Badanich, Agasbag. We, the people of Scotland, know from the chronicles and books of the ancients that power and sovereignty rests with the people of Scotland. We are one people. We journeyed from Greater Scythia by way of the Tyrrhenian Sea and pillars of Hercules and dwelt for a long course of time in Spain among the most savage peoples. But nowhere could we be subdued by any people. Thence we came. 1200 years after the people of Israel crossed the Red Sea to our home. Our Dahi. Our, our home. Our home in the West, where we still live today. I hate this. What's this? The haggis. Ugh, pig bits. Who eats this? Billy. Billy! What do you want? I don't want the haggis. Give it here, I'm not wasting a good bit of haggis. What's in that pan? Roast. It's a bloody mess. That's perfect. It's keek! That bit hanging off the side, it's all fat. You don't know nothing about food aesthetics. You don't know nothing about food full stop. Give us that ladle back. I should have divorced you in 2014. But you didn't. Because I'm glake it. Because you love me. Get a hill of two day nor petig, skip again a jolly fire, do a gah on yon a fish for that rude in chip. No fine a kahedoo, and that a clutch a hubble chip. No fine a kahedoo. But Charlotte, we shall mark and toss, she's mad in the onion van and or in Kanya, pick his a hand box and toy your pluck na good an inch. No fine a kahedoo. The Government and Assemblies of Scotland, recognising the fundamental right of everyone to be free from hunger, shall take, individually and through international cooperation, the measures, including specific programmes, which are needed to ensure no man, woman or child suffers from hunger. The State of Scotland undertakes to guarantee that the rights enunciated in the present poetic constitution will be exercised without discrimination of any kind as to race, colour, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth or, or other, other status. status. Eviction notice! Ha cor e gahuladinia vi savoce an in type la, a ha frikerich er son slanche a gesund an yach shin, a gesund chulach ichke. Billy! An eviction notice, Billy! <laughs> As the histories of old time bear witness, Scotland is free of all servitude. The high qualities and merits of the Scottish people shine forth clearly enough from this, that the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, our Lord Jesus Christ, after his passion and resurrection, called them, even though settled in the uttermost parts of the earth, almost the first to his most holy faith. I guess bevian le Christ at the vi er in tiny hug se gretchen full life, nay, foundra gave, braha fetar pianichte, 
Agus Berun, Gun Glear, Eyat, Marpatran, Naif, Gushirig, Bra. It's because we're late with the rent again. No, Cap. It's the new illness. It's the rent. It's the capitalism. What's that got to do with anything? When was the rent due? Sometime last week. Sometime last week? All right. On the sixth. That's three weeks ago. Is this the way you treat your tenants of 26 years? Where's the rent money? The rent money is... It's been sent to them. Rent's paid. When? Tomorrow. The rent that was due three weeks ago, you're going to pay it tomorrow. Hi, I'm Alex, son of Katrina and Billy. I work in the, fa- in the rag trade, in the factory based in Coatbridge. We were called in to do extra shifts, so I've been busy unlike some other folk. My dad was laid off three weeks ago, fisherman, English-born, from Margate. He came to Scotland in 77 when he met my mum and got married. Worked at Peterhead, Lurwick, at Scrabster, Scrabster even at Mallee, and Ullapool, and latest, at Kinloch Burvey. Vision's been declining for a good 40 years now, but we hung on. Most of the stock's being sold to Europe and that, and with people's tastes changing, well, neither one of us went into the fishing business. Hi, I'm Vicky. Victoria, like the Queen. Cat and Billy's daughter. My mum and dad are obsessed with the old world. Every time the clock goes back, they go back a good 30 years for them. I'm a millennial. I want to be successful, to be someone, someone you can recognise and respect. Not like my mum who, well, don't get me wrong, I adore her, but she and dad, it's complicated. She just hands him all the house finances. Has been since medieval times, if you get what I mean. And what happens? He gambles a bit, he drinks a bit, he invests a bit, and, you know, the rest is history. Anything is worth more than a fisherman in his lot. Even just an idle piece of land with a house standing in the middle of it, you can sell that to investors that then go on and register it in Panama so they don't even have to pay council tax on the bastard. They let me go. What? When? Three weeks ago. And you didn't tell me? There's nothing to tell. John Montrose, now Lord Montrose of Bellamouth. I'd love to work in his Edinburgh office. He's head of the government's anti-corruption unit. He's an inspiration. The way he talks, the way he carries himself. A real gentleman. He's going to make sure that all corruption is eradicated. All government contracts are transparent. No more dodgy procurements. He has said it. It's his motto. New Technologies has given some people some real funny ideas about John Montrose, but he's a dog's bollocks. He'll change the way the government works for all of us. So that, that shit that happened to my dad, we all the fishing contracts being handed out to friends, Shit like that, it'll never happen again. Ever. Uh, Lovely to meet you, my lord. Cosmo. Call me Cosmo. It's a yes. I'd love to work for you. Great. We will uproot the old habits and make this place great again. Sounds good. Apart from the... Apart from what? The uprooting. That sounds a bit... like... not good. We'll bleach out the old. Bring in the new. What's not to love? Well, I like my mum and dad. My community. I, I want to be near them. Well, do you like progress? You're a hard man, my lord. <laughs> Monday. Uh, I'll have a think. 
For with the, in with the new infection spreading like wildfire, you need this money. This land needs this money. And only the big boys can bring that in. Hmm? Done. Vile laws are obstacles and bring miseries untold. But we know the secret. Lives are there to be sold. And when we come in with our pots brimming full of gold, the future shines on my bald head, bright, happy and bold. We can claim benefits, Cat. Universal credit. You're useless, Billy. Who can survive on that? Where's your pride? Shame on you. Shame on you. But what was I expect from you? You're a man. You're hurting me, love. I'm your husband. It's always the women who fight back. Whereas the people of this nation reaffirm that their faith in fundamental human rights, in the dignity and worth of the human person, and in the equal rights of men and women, and have determined to promote social progress and better standards of life in larger freedom. Whereas disregard and contempt for human rights have resulted in barbarous acts which have outraged the conscience of mankind and the advent of a world in which human beings shall enjoy freedom of speech and belief and freedom from fear and want has been proclaimed as the highest aspiration of the common people. Dovri skivele ule do hyachinte female. Mas ein nach bi in dunye ir a cho eignach och meidhach gu cianach gianav a nei ein chiernas agus fornyrst. Gin bi corichin in dunye ir in gian tro rialach in lugha. Whereas it is essential, if a man is not to be compelled to have recourse as our last resort to rebellion against tyranny and oppression, that human rights should be protected by the rule of law. She was gone to meet with other women, she said. There have been at least 300 evic eviction notices handed out to folk in the last couple of months. Some had been late rent, some hadn't. But one thing was for certain. We had all paid the bastards ten times the value of these properties and still had nothing to show for it. I tried to stop her, but the infection. I said, you've got to social distance, make sure you don't catch it. But she won't have any of it. I turned my head and she was gone. That bloody Katrina McGeechy. Stubborn as a mule, always. There was eviction notices being handed out all over the city. Despite the infection, despite the Brexit, people was being evicted to make room for a new generation of spaffers and shysters out to make money out of the blood and sweat. Our blood and sweat. A woman were found dead, starving next to her baby in a hotel room in Glasgow. She were a black woman, come here for safety. No matter, said Billy. What's wrong with their own countries? Why can't they fight their own battles there? <laughs> it's like we've no got enough of your own. But no to me. To me, we are all one people. We gathered at George Square. All of us women. Met by the police, by the monument. The police attempted to break our lines. But we pushed back and proceeded towards a tall lad who held the eviction notices. We tore them from his hands and held a match to the papers and set fire to them. When the sheriff and his men arrived, Mum and all the other women were still dancing about the big fire. Anish McLeod was amongst them. I didn't know her to be a neo-Nazi, but you live and you learn. He shouts, Hey you, Katrina! She turns to him, her eyes full of rage. Get out of my sight, you worthless piece of orange shite! Mum says. Oi! He says. No doubt black lives matter to yous. You birthed a black bastard that you've been passing off as one of us for forty odd years. Get to fuck. And he threw himself, the whole bulk of him, a mother. An him fifa, sna kriechen, an him ballen him frieselach, an se chumri, an him shelten, han him nahen a mui, a gyarim, a stri a nui an a kjastish. He the kur krunichi in er doi. He the tokel knappen staras erad. He the skur mal is kish and jalan a file. 
In one case, it was necessary to remove 63 women out of the Empire building by force. Quite a bit of force. And although Katrina is my mother, I, I want a future. I want to be someone. And, and she betrayed me. She was photographed throwing herself on the ground and barking and yelling like a dog. The other woman, her accomplice, hacked into a government computer and deleted the entire database that had already been sold by the Ministry of Health to Serco for the benefit of all citizens. In our common fight against infection, these women had set their minds upon destruction and nothing was going to stop them. Co Hamming. Who, Who are, are we? Gail. 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 Italian African. African slaves. Co Hamming. Who, Who are, are we? Luch Sedach. Irish Navis. Luch Bokrak Ajinach Bobang Skrivi. Indian indentured labour. Co Hamming. Who are we? Bamaltram and Jamaican Jamaican nurses. Talian Yudach. Jewish tailors, Sajid and Sikh, Sikh soldiers, Teacher and Edeljah, Italian teachers, Doctor and Asafoli, Polish doctors, Shalater and Malaysian, Malaysian sailors. Here the women made a stout resistance. We disarmed policemen. We burned the eviction notices in a heap. We set fire to immigration letters. We ducked the smooth-haired men in pinstripe suits. And you know why? Because we don't buy it. This good and bad storyline, I, we, don't buy it. Since the time of the evil man Enoch Powell who said about a country foaming with blood, we fought and fought and stayed all quiet and hard working and waited to see better days. But then, them come to chuck us out our homes, out our mother's wombs into some new data-driven techno-mad theme parky land of their dream. Well, no, it ain't happening. We'll sit here under their ca until their castles have crumbled and they're forced to come out and smell the air, if there's any air left by then. Alexander's my son. My boy, Alex, was conceived on a brief, a very brief romance. I was a virgin. Uh, the boy was a virgin, James. His name was James. Son of an Algerian woman and a Scot. He was in medical school. I was just 18 and, well, as these things go, we found ourselves on a beach in Leith and... I delivered Alexander on a little sofa we were still living in a tenant flats off Culloden Street. The midwife went off to make a cup of tea and out he popped, no fuss, rolled into my hands. And he's always been a daddy's boy, my Alex. I was maybe six weeks pregnant when I met Billy. Didn't know the first thing about life, other than it was going to be hard. Billy proposed in November. We married on 5th of January. She was such a beautiful bride, my Katrina. Being sick in between greeting guests. A proper Scottish wedding we had. I thought it was all the haggis that was making us sick. <laughs> I hate haggis. And when Alex was born, there was shock. Shock and shame and dismay. She even suggested that we separate and she emigrate to Canada with her baby. What? <laughs> Are you serious? I fell in love with a girl and I was going to let her go. So what? She got together with this lad, baby happened, but he bore in my hands, my Alex, for all the shock and the disapproval of society, he was my son, and I love him to bits. Not once has Billy stopped showing his total love for Alex. I think he's his favourite. <laughs> he loves him even above her own daughter. <laughs> but when it comes to Scotland and being Scottish, I fight for my Alex with twice the rage. He is a Scot. Right through his biological father, his Algerian skin. Oh, the beauty of this boy. Right through me, 
The lassie from Castle Milk and his proper dad, my Billy. The boy from Margate who fell in love with Scotland. My Alex is a Scot. Three times over. What is actually going on? There is no doubt that a change has come to Scotland. The young are finding new ways to understand themselves and to love each other. On the other hand, the land is inefficient. The old plagues of broken souls and stolen tongues are being spoken about again. Even before the great infection, many of the young were seeking lives abroad. But this coincided with something else. English and Scottish capital was growing powerful and hungry for swallowing up more and more of the land and its labours. Huge profits were being made already on the stock markets. The speculators and the property men. System Logan and Yerin, a higher marik and for Almana Yesihi, a Mukoi Kiajig is three fichet. A Kielach of Gram Ignas Logan a Koig Kia de Dunya, a Hakor is Le Generin and an Alba. I am perfectly satisfied that no citizen of this country has suffered hardship or injury as a result of these technological advancements we are currently undertaking. We have taken every single citizen of this country into consideration, taken care of them, loved them, put our big hairy arms around them. We have helped and supported them, you, all of you. We have furloughed most of you. We have even paid out vast sums of money to those worthless groups such as benefit claimants and women who decide to procreate independently of men, even to the gays and the lesbians and the, I don't know, even the Romanians and all other bizarre groups. We have shown you immense love and commitment but you're always greedy, dissatisfied, without sparing one single thought for the hard-working, grouse-shooting, gun-loving rulers of this country who have preserved this democracy without rupture, without a fucking French Revolution for more than 1,000 years. And you know, as far as I'm concerned, the fucking ballerinas can get to the end of the queue. Oh, oh, soon shall I see them. Oh, he, ho, see them, oh, see them. Maria Fnuken, Angus, deceased in her nursing home, 2nd February 2020. Cause of death, interstitial pneumonia. Patrick Dunan, Nachmarin, Erigel. A kugel and dachy kudem, er a hoik of large and yerin, davy les fichet. Over a vash and galler scavenach. Andrew McKelleny, Ross Shire. Deceased in his nursing home 23rd of February 2020. Cause of death, interstitial pneumonia. Sandra Nichloch, Nachmeran, Katuf, a kugel and dachy kudem. Er in Darna Lodge and Barst, Davila Svichet, Over of Ash and Galar Scavenach. Margaret MacDonald Sutherland, deceased in her nursing home, 30th of March 2020, cause of death, interstitial pneumonia. Funagal Innes, Nachmarin, Ellen Skiernach, a Hurgal Lang and Dahi Kurum, er in Darna Lodge and Togvius, Davila Svichet. Over a vash and gather scavenach. See them, who oh, see them, who oh, oh, oh. soon shall I see them, the mist covered mountains of hope. Oh, hi there! I'm Annunciata Hog Clack, AC to my friends. <laughs> I am an interventionist. You may have heard of my latest novel, Weeding in Cyprus, Dandelions, Nettles and Other Oddities of the Mediterranean Civilization. Well, that was about how my granddad, Waldo 16th Earl Bootle, Marquess of Barcarotta, Saria and Tarazona, was my inspiration. 
He was sent by the great king to suppress some shite rebellion in Timbuktu in 1899 and thereafter in Cyprus. It was in Cyprus where he invented the camps. But that was for the indigenous people's own safety. So, you see, we have a long history of public service in my family. And I recently discovered a talent for writing. Weeding is not about the Negro slaves. No, it's about a girl's ascent to the highest echelons of society, having come from humble beginnings. Incidentally, I am married to the government's anti-corruption hero, Cosmo Montrose. Together, we shall fight the great infection and make the whole stupid thing disappear like that. <laughs> now, I've been visiting with my dad at his delightful home in London, Albemarle House, and his country home in Gloucester. That's called Bang Bang House. Then I was at our ancestral home, Wild Robin Castle in Scotland. My dad is unlike my granddad, who banged up the Cypriots and the Timbuktuans. My daddy is a very enlightened man. I adore him, above everything perhaps, for his undying devotion to the oppressed people of the world, the Negroes, the slaves. Oh, the gypsies, even the Irish. He thinks they all ought to be treated much better. There is talk I may be appointed head of track and trace to ensure none of our citizens die as a result of this horrific illness. We are making sure the economy takes priority and there is enough money in all our pockets towards the advancing of civilization. And as for those who happen to get it well, they are mostly low-value individuals, possibly Poles or Portuguese or even Nigerian. Some of them are even from Margate. <laughs> but philanthropy and compassion are always our compass. Even for those persons, we don't want to see you suffer. Sharp and short is the way forward. If you're going to get it, well, we'll make it short and sweet for you. Get it between the eyeballs. You won't know what's hit you. <laughs> Hi again, I'm Annunziata, the landlady, remember? Well, this time, I have a plan. Can you stop that singing, please? Right, the people of Scotland, and generally the people of the world, have become very resistant to change. I favour their moving towards a more holistic market-led approach based on our common values as citizens of the Anglophone world. See this photo? That's my mum. Passing on today. God rest his soul. The landowners benefit from combined assets of land worth 3.3 trillion. And I, Katrina Stevenson, wife of Billy and daughter of Alexander Magici, say this to you. There is an absolute connection between land ownership and prosperity. Poverty always exists where no land is owned. <laughs> At first, I was tasked with general duties at Cosmo Montrose's Edinburgh office. Then I was asked to work in data and micro-targeting, like individualised political messages. And... I saw a lot of stuff there. What sort of stuff? Nothing. Come on, what sort of stuff? Oh, fuck off, it's none of your business. 
said, fuck off, it's none of your business. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that goes above and beyond who you are or what country you were born in. I saw souls bought and sold for a dime. I saw people's data and details that should never have been there. I, I saw land and money hopping across continents like, like it was fresh air. I saw, bloody hell, I, I saw life's lost and life's changed just at the click of a button. Oh, I'll have a wee dram. Here. Thank you, William. Oh, cat. You've got beautiful eyes. Tell you what, when I'm dead, will you pour a bottle of eye brew over me? <laughs> oh, I'll be pouring all manner of things over you, Billy Stevenson. All manner of things. Gee, sure. We, the employees of the supermarkets, the delivery drivers, the care workers and all the nurses and factory workers and all the tenants that should be owners, do hereby agree with each other to meet at 1pm on Wednesday at St Andrew's Church for the purpose of stating our respective grievances publicly. Will you hear that long? Can you not run? It's not a drain fuse. Oh, my dear. The tenements are being emptied to make way for the new folk that's going to come in in new terms and conditions. Aye, all the workers and the drivers are being laid off to make way for new agreements. Aye, and the rents are going up. And all the shops are closing. These shops are ours, and these homes are ours, and these braes and these brewers are ours. We worked them. We died on them many a time. Aye, we did. Order, order. Mum, have you seen the notices? No, now, Alex. I lay claim on my land. I lay claim on my labour. Vicky, what are you doing here, love? Well, he's not home yet, Mum. I was worried. I, I came out looking for you. Go home. He's plotting. He's gone mad. <laughs> A couple of quiet that you have chatting, plotting. Go home. Well, if you go one by one to make separate claims, your claims will fall. You must go all together. You work for Montrose. Mind your own business. Is this your last year to help you? Did you all hear what I said? Go all together. If you succeed, you succeed. If you fail, the punishment falls on all years. I told you not to get involved. Maybe write to MP or something, but otherwise, stay out of trouble. Call Hanning. And until our grievances are met, we hold back our labour. We hold back our house payments. We hold back our sweating and our bleeding. We do nothing. We hold back. Kumishin ahulakal irash. Where's the book? Don't sign anything. A strike began on Monday last held at St Andrew's Hall And when the sheriff came down our way we kicked him in the balls We, we kicked, kicked him in the balls, we kicked him in the balls And when the sheriff came down our way we kicked him in the balls Lady Annunziata's track and trace was forced to accompany a compromise She wouldn't be testing up here in Scotland, she'd only be testing in the southern regions Many were missed About 65% of the infected were not notified, and they passed it on to others. But we kept it in-house. We tracked most of them. A victory had been won. The men of Glasgow didn't fare so well. A task force was sent in to investigate, and three men were imprisoned, and 12 women were too. But the resistance continued. Two gunboats, a transport ship, and a hundred marines were sent in against them. His Majesty's government would move in its own time. We kicked him in the balls, we kicked him in the balls, and when the sheriff came down our way, we kicked him in the balls. Good morning. I'm Annunciata, AC to my friends. Firstly, an update on my book, Weeding in Cyprus. Remember Weeding in Cyprus? It's not doing very well at all. But this morning, I have come all the way to Castle Milk, that is Chateau de Lay, for the French speakers, 
The purpose of my being here is to speak to you, my beloved tenants, because our country is in need. Ain't your daughter shite? The Germans and the French, under their worthless welfare despots, seem to think they are the masters of Europe. Well, they're not. We are, and we're going to show him we are. The king, God bless him, on whose empire the sun is rising again, will not be dictated to by some pesky, garlic-eating, wine-guzzling Frenchman. Particularly when it comes to the great trade deals his majesty had made all over the globe in the olden days to the everlasting benefit of all of us. Of you! Uh, particularly of me. <laughs> now, the king has called upon us, his sturdy Highlanders, Glaswegians, Fifers, and other pesky Scots, to come to, come to his aid in far-off Japan, as well as the Principality of Tuvalu. Our precious union has a long and noble history. But uh, Victoria here, my commissioner in Glasgow, informs me that the response so far has been... Disappointing? Is there for honest poverty? Why is this hidden love? Vicky, love, are you home? Is she home yet? Where's Vicky? Billy, do something. Where is Victoria? He begs and breathes a boy dude. Come on, sing along. How can ye bloom so fresh and fair? How can ye da 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 da? That's the way. And I say, we During the time of the Brexit, many of my generation did not resist because we were away in the great cities, defending what was left of our way of life. By the Brexit, it slowly dawned on us that we were being used. My dad lost his job recently. I know you to be loyal subjects to the new technocratic age. But my dad, come here, dad. The older generation don't understand data. They don't understand the future. They don't understand that if we sell Stilton cheese to Tuvalu, lives will change for the better. Millions of lives. I don't know if I'm the right person for you. We made you. You're a made man. You also made some promises. Which you broke. But where are you from, Margie? You're a bit dark. A smile. Oh. Nice teeth. Mm -hmm. Go on. My mum was Armenian Jewish. I got her dark good looks, you see. Oh, a good Jewish man. I love a bit of diversity. <laughs> Thanks. What's the job? I am prepared to reward your loyalty. Yes, 100,000 meal deals will translate into hard cash the moment the big empire is born. Oh, damn it! Do you want the European barbarians to come sweeping across Dover, burning your houses, scrounging benefits, eating your loaves, driving you into the sea? What are you fidgeting for, William? Come on, come on, have you no pride in this great democracy that we English, we British, have brought to you? Do you want the cruel froggies installed in Dunrobin Castle? Step forward, man! It was the opinion of this country, Scotland, that being ruled by a European Union who know worse than what we've endured in the hands of Westminster over the last 60 years. We have no land to fight for. You robbed us of our land and gave it to the corporations. Therefore, since you have preferred capital to men, let capital now defend you. An inaki a jig, three feet of the jig, va koshkish teye, three urid se va aka jehuras of bliana, and a davila va koik urid. Egas and lawn jew. 
Hakor is och urit. I owe them a great deal. I am a transformed woman. I own a flat in Wanworth. I, I come up to see mum and dad every other weekend or so, and all thanks to Montrose and his brilliant, brilliant brain for real estate development. But I have a secret. I have a home. Another home. In here. And no one knows about it. Son, affection, Alex, my boy, careful. Oh, the infection. The infection only kills old people and not even all of them. You've got to die somehow. Dad's in a bad way, Vicky. You need to come home. <coughs> <laughs> Dad. Whereas it is essential, if a man is not to be compelled to have recourse as a last resort to rebellion against tyranny and oppression, that human rights should be protected by the rule of law. Whereas recognition of the inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family it is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. Now, therefore, the government and the state of Scotland proclaim this constitutional right that every individual be able to promote respect for these rights and freedoms and to secure their universal and effective recognition and observance. Sinoch gavlin giach vagalik er athormas glishin loch. Chai clown a skewers of or son of e brain the gallic, son rain clicher. Sanichet of lean jiak, chai a heckish to clown fanacha yanov er a hanan hain. En a daviles a sheer jiak, hurk and reach vor shot, fall of as a horse grief to shot, is as gach horse grief to your puck. Because English is the language of the civilized. Se kutchum and feed in Yahasho, Hanayu Pishach, no service, gun viola. Because English is the language of the people who own the lands and control the lands and invest in the lands. Because English is the language of the Trade and Development Board, the Health Board, the Education Board, the Immigration Commission, and I suppose the Australian Board of Trade and Industry. Stuffing is great. Still managed to get lovin' and raisins, despite the Brexit. You stockpiled these in September, darling. Well, the turkey is amazing. It voted for Christmas, all right. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I'm just not very hungry. She's a bit under the weather, poor lassie. Give me a love. Well, it's been great up here. London's all smog and dirt these days. She needs to spend more time here. I'll get more wine. Love, we only have the one bottle. It's the great infection that's getting in the way this Christmas. It's the capitalism cap. Here, Dad. What's this? It's my final payment. I can help. What? Your, your final payment? Are you leaving the factory? Take the money. Put that away. Why are you leaving the factory? I've been accepted to study at the university. Why didn't you tell us about this? I'm telling you now. Son. Oh, first in the family to go to university. Uh, I passed my exams. And you didn't go? Well, I got a job. Ah, she got a job. And what's that supposed to mean, Dad? Leave it, Billy. Not today. I don't want you working for this lot. <laughs> well, this lot shines bright. They're all about accomplishment. I mean, what are you about? Kippers? Whoa, child! So Be quiet! So, I was saying, I'll become a historian. Well, what do you think? Mum? Dad? I think we need more historians to tell us the past than that. <laughs> Is there any jobs going for historians? Well, it'll tell you the future, Mum, not the past. That's what history does. That's beautiful. 
He can do no wrong, can he? Vicky Love, what are you on about? I make over 80k a year, and all you have to say is, that's beautiful. I was given a pay rise, and all you have to say is, oh, son, that is beautiful. But it's your fault. It's all your fault, the, the eviction and all that. I have money. You don't, you don't need to be independent and proud. You can, you can be practical. Accept your situation. Take what's on offer. On what terms? There's no terms. We're one family, one unit. This money comes from a man I neither trust nor like. Montrose has sucked the blood out of his community for decades. Anunziata and her landed, grouse-shouting granddad has eaten us alive for millennia. Take the money, Billy. Just don't upset her. What do you do for Ford and Victoria? What's all this data harvesting and the psychological operations? What's all that about? I don't feel well. I'm going to my room. See what you've done now. What? Well, at least I don't beat the shit out of legally elected councillors three days before Christmas. <laughs> what was that? There was an altercation. Really? I've had a lot of yeah. misfortunes in my time, but never, ever dealing with the cops. There will be no cops involved. You beat up a councillor? I beat up a BLM denier. A what? Wait, Cap. Son, is that about the Black Lives thing? I don't care what it is. You don't raise your hand to another human being. Is that how we've raised you? Cap, no. wait. He's right. But Mum, we got together to protest against the thugs that want to deny black people their human rights. But they're even denying the Holocaust and that. And you've assaulted a man instead of reasoning with him? No, I, I didn't assault him instead of reasoning with him, Mum. But I was just trying to... I... Oh, Go, just, just leave the room, please, Alex. I want to come home, Mummy. This is the best Christmas ever. That eviction notice was served one week ago today. Was that my fault, Cap? Where's the money, Billy? You managed okay, all the way up until now? We didn't. We didn't? Where's all my wages? My savings? It's all in the common savings account. It's less than half. I invested some of it. Why? You said I could. When did I say that? Years back, 2014, when we were disagreeing again, you said, Bill, you make the investments. And you said, don't leave me, lead me. I meant it, Kat. Give it all back then. I want it all back. I want what's mine. It's gone, Kat. It's all gone now. A perfect world. The best, the best IQ, IQ genes. Intelligent. Beautiful. Fair. A, a, a perfect, perfect world. world. The, the best, best IQ genes. genes. Intelligent. Beautiful. Fair. A, a perfect world. world. The, the best, best IQ, IQ genes. genes. Intelligent. Intelligent. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fair. Fair. The Constitution guarantees the civil rights of citizens, personal freedom, personal domicile, freedom of movement, right of assembly, Freedom of association, right to be heard in court. Femi smak, even jaren, wie ik natuurlijk.
The Constitution protects the rights of all men and women to be heard in court. It further provides that the offence shall be an inviolable right at every stage and instance of legal proceedings, that the poor shall be entitled to special provisions, to proper means for action or defence before all our courts. The law also lays down the conditions and means for obtaining reparation for judicial errors. No one's case shall be removed from the court that must hear it, as preordained by law. All people are equal before the law. What about the dead? What about the dying? On their own? Not able to say goodbye? I couldn't even visit my dad in hospital. All government officials, all ministers, and all people are equal before the law. What am I to do with all this thing? How is any of it my fault? I fell in love with a lassie. I'm still in love with her. I still dream of a smile, a touch. I still want to buy her a place in the sun to sit behind the bike shed and steal a kiss. You're too fat to fit behind the bike shed. I still want to, though. <laughs> is it my fault, Katrina, is it? I know, Billy. I love you too. But I want a divorce. I want to pay my own rent, think my own thoughts, dream my own dreams. You can still dream them. In my bed. Shall we think on it? Tomorrow? We've no home tomorrow. We've been evicted. We haven't. We've appealed the order. Here for one more day. Still, the land is theirs. One day is all we need. We still have no home. You're my home. I'm okay. We, the, the people, people of Scotland, Scotland, in order to form a more perfect community, we agree to nurture our communities, to establish justice, promote general welfare, secure the land and labour of our people, secure the blessings of freedom to, to ourselves, ourselves and, and our neighbours and, and friends all, all over, over this world. world, do ordain and establish this constitution for our land of Scotland. Scotland. Cole Hanning, Gale, I am Scotland, Eritrean women, I am Scotland. Irish poets, she Alaba Hanams. Indian surgeons, I am Scotland. Jamaican sculptors, I am Scotland. Jewish philosophers, I am Scotland. Sikh policemen, I am Scotland. Italian artists, I am Scotland. Polish doctors, I am Scotland. Malaysian architects, I am, I am Scotland. Scotland. The McGeekies of Kilkenzie. I am Scotland. Go, Go on. on. I am Scotland. And thus ends the story of Katrina McGeehy, daughter of Andra and Morag of Kilkenzie and Argyll, and Billy Stevenson of Margate. Their legacy is their children, Victoria and Alexander, who went on to labour, love and hurt, and write more histories for these isles. O oh, dancers forward, lead out the graces, call the goddess out. Then her brother, the dancer of skies, invoke with a shout, happy goddess, queen of all, and all the tiny demons summon hither to be, witnesses of our revelry, and of the noble peace we have made, this land be our aid.